Hey guys, welcome to Excel channel. Now we are moving forward to financial functions and formulas in Excel. So first video was about the overview of these functions like PMT, NPR, rate and etc. So in this video, we are going to explore PMT function. So you are going to learn the basics and to the advanced functionality of this function. If you are looking for this video, then Please follow on in upcoming minutes. You're going to learn so much about PMT function in Excel. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it because in upcoming days, we are going to explore more and more functions about finance, statistics, mathematical and much more in this channel. So let's get started. You must be wondering the word annuity. Annuity is a plan that helps you to get a regular payment for life after making a lump sum investment so it's a part of your investment right to get certain amount after some years so the goal in this example is to have three hundred thousand dollars or rupee or however you want at the end of 10 years here so goal here is to get the face value or you can say the future value of three hundred thousand dollars at the end of 10th year here okay so we are getting the interest of six percent hope you're getting my point so we are going to find a uh, annuity due payments which are made at the beginning of the period instead of the end okay so you must just go through the terminology of such terms of such scenarios like annuity what is annuity what is present value which is future value and something like that but if you are from the banking background then you must be aware of this so we are going to find the annual payment to we get in this function so what we are gonna do here is to put the pmt function here so annual payment we are gonna get at the end of the every year how much is gonna be so for the first year we are gonna find that annual payment okay so we have a rate percent which is this which is i think is straightforward so terms so we are getting the annual payments here so we are considering that as an year so we don't need to apply you know into 12 months because annuity payment is for the as the name suggests annuity so it's meant for the annual so i am just assuming these terms are for the yearly part so we are not going to divide or multiply by 12 here so in the next present value present value should be the zero here because it's just starting it out and the future value is this which is b14 right and in the next part so it says at the end of the period or beginning of the period so these are the two concepts which we are going to cover so in the first part uh, what i'm gonna do is to do the end of the period part so let me see how much we are getting so we are getting 22,760 at the end of the period here. So we have covered the next or last optional part here at the end of the period and the beginning of the If you want to find the beginning of the period, so you can just go and edit and add one here as formula says like this. So you just need to enter. So you get at the beginning of the period here. So hope you understand how to find the annuity payment using pmt function here so if you ha still have some problem to calculating or something like that then you should put the comment in the comment box below and one of our representative will help you to assist further okay so don't be shy just type it out your question we will try our best to answer your queries and if you have learned something from this video please click the like button and if you want to watch more functions like this then you should click the subscribe button to follow along all the videos we are we are going to upload in upcoming months and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please and if you want to share this video to your colleague friends or family then use the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye